Well, you, a lot of that was represented in sets three and four, where uh, they they turn it up. The disappointing part of the night was how we responded after the first two sets. But that's a, that's a very very good team, and. Uh, when we needed to, uh, in the fifth set, we cleaned up some things offensively. We lowered our errors, um, and we made winning plays. So, uh, you know, we were on the positive side of the, the number of kills, but we had just too many errors, and they block well. And uh, in the end, uh, we're happy, I guess, with the outcome for sure. What specifically did you guys do in the fifth set that you didn't do in the third and fourth? Well, we were a little bit more in system. We got our middles more involved. Uh, the three set that was uh, that we run to Tolfrey and Jarmok uh, was working. I think Tolfrey ended the match with a one-foot takeoff. Uh, that was really good. And we just stayed aggressive. Sometimes in that fifth set, you get tentative. Um, you don't make uh, aggressive plays. And we kept swinging and um, uh, served tough and got the result we wanted. Uh, it seemed like Creighton enjoyed hitting the ball over on their second hit. They did that a lot. Was that something that you guys knew they would do? Yeah, their setter's uh, very aggressive, and um, we knew that she would try to create some offense, but uh, um, that's part of who they are, and um, uh, we spent some time working on it in practice, but until you simulate, uh, it's tough to simulate that in practice when, uh, when you got somebody like uh, Megan Bober over there trying to pull that off in a match. Uh, talk a little, about, a little bit about Brianne Riley's performance tonight. 33 digs, one short of her career high. She seemed to really be the stronghold back there. Uh, I could think of two or three that she could have broke her career high. You know, tell her I said that too. No, 33 is a good number, uh, but that's what our expectation is from Bree, that she, um, that she is our defensive captain. She's our defensive heartbeat, so proud of her. Some of those were key, obviously, and um, – uh, we outdug them by a big, big margin, so that was a big difference. I think that offset the fact that they outblocked us. I'm sure you're going to say the most important part of tonight was you got the 12th victory of the season, but 950 overall, what does it mean to you? 950, um, been coaching a long time and had a lot of good players. Uh, but to beat uh, a really, really good team uh, in a situation like that's the most important thing. Aaron McNorton, five-set match, you're probably going to get a good chance at a career high, but 67 assists for her. She was strong throughout, even from the beginning. She had more than 14 assists per set in those first three sets. Yeah, it was great, and I was proud of Aaron, the decision she made late, because when it gets pressure, sometimes you make the simple or cautious move, and she took some risk and got the ball to some hitters in some good situations. Uh, well, we knew that they were going to be a like, physical blocking team because before the match, Coach B was saying that I think they had like 20, 217 assist blocks but only three solos so um, I knew that they'd be really good on the pin blocking but um, our, one of our match keys was for the middles to be up and early and kind of running spread plays so we can find the seams in the block. What was the team's mentality after four sets? You'd been up 2-0, they take two more sets from you. <clears throat> Look kind of dangerous for you guys, what were you thinking? Um, we just like in the fifth set we're like we just are starting off fresh, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, this is our home court and we need to show them how we can play as Kansas and that's just kind of how we carried it through the entire 15 points. What do you think you did during the fifth set that the team didn't do during the third and fourth set? I think the whole energy changed. Um, just you could tell like celebration after a kill or um, a point one for Kansas. It was just a lot more energy and communication was up during rallies and just everybody was going aggressively for every point. What was it like playing in a five set match first time this year? <laughs> It's long. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> that fourth set, there was one rally, and I was like, <gasps> and then you just kind of break there, and they're like, call the whistle to serve again. I'm like, oh, man, here we go again. But um, it's tiring, but, you know, you just got to know how to push through it. Talk a little bit about Erin McNorton, 67 mm -hmm. assists for her tonight. She really seemed to be king you guys on the offense. Yeah, I mean, Erin's great at delivering a hittable ball every time. Um, she, we always joke that she kind of like does this like really rapid run, and but she gets her feet there every time to get her hands on the ball to set it. So um, she's just very like consistent and good at delivering a fast paced ball. Ready for Big 12 play to be here? Heck yeah! Um, we just like I think that we're just like really motivated this year just to go and dream crush is what our new motto, new motto, team motto is. So um, we're just going to be going into Texas raging pretty much. That's how it's going to go. Um, well, we outdug them by 20, so I think that had a lot to do with they kept the ball off the ground and gave me chances to set it.
Uh, they out hit you guys 221 to 167. Were you ever discouraged offensively about their defensive performance stopping you guys? Um, not discouraged. There were a couple of balls Sarah had to kill at the end. I thought it was down. I was like celebrating already. But um, no, not really. We were able to still keep going and stuff. It was frustrating, especially their blocking, but it was fine. After the fourth set, Creighton had completely turned the match around. What was the team's mentality? Um, well, in the fourth set when we were down by like seven, I think, um, Bree kept saying like, let's just go, let's get it, let's get in a rhythm. If we do have to go to the fifth game, we're going to be in rhythm for that, so let's just keep playing and pushing. So. And what did the team do in the fifth set that they didn't do in the third and fourth set that helped them get the victory? Um, well, Coach B just told us we hit like 280 or something, so like, we hit really, really well, and that's what kept us in there. So. Big 12 play opens up this week in Texas Tech. What do you guys expect for that match? Um, well, we were just talking about it, actually that they're actually we've only lost like a couple games and they've started out really strong. So I haven't seen much about them, but I'm sure it's going to be a good game. How about Coach Bouchard, 950th victory? Were you guys aware of that coming into that one and glad to be a part of it? Yeah, no, I had no idea that it was happening, but of course I'm glad to be a part of it. But yeah, it was fun. It was a good game to win it on too.